Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem, and the problem's name is binary tree level order traversal. In this question, we're given the root of a binary tree. Our task is to return the level order traversal of the nodes from left to right, level by level. So we start from this node. So the only node in this level is three. So you add three into the answer. And in this level, there are two nodes, nine and twenty. And in this level, there are two nodes, fifteen and seven. So you go from top to down, level by level, and iterate through. The nodes present in that level from left to right. So the answer is three, nine, twenty, fifteen, seven, which is the expected output here. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name. We are given the root of a binary tree. The return type is a list of list of integers. So first, let's declare our output. I'm going to name it result. And now we are checking if this root is empty. If this root is null, then we can directly return the empty result, which we declared just now. So if root is null, then I'm going to return the empty result, which is return result. To perform level order traversal, we need a queue. So I'm going to declare it, and this queue is going to contain nodes. So tree node, I'm going to name it queue. Now initially into this queue, I'm going to add the root which was given as input. So queue dot add of root, and now I'm going to iterate through the queue until this queue is empty. So while q is not equal to empty, we keep on iterating. So, and now we want to know how many nodes are there in the current level. So I'm going to name it le level size and store it inside our integer variable. And use the size method of the q. And now we need to store the current uh, nodes inside the list. And in this current level, we need to store the nodes. Inside our array list, and later we'll add that array list into the result. So I'm going to create a list of integers and name it current level. It will be array list. And now let's iterate through the nodes. So we know the level size. So I start from zero and iterate until this level size. Now we extract the current node from the queue. The queue has three nodes. So I'm going to extract it and store. So I'm going to name it current node. So, so queue dot poll will give me the topmost node and remove it from the queue. And now I'm going to add this node into the current level. And this current level is going to store integers. So I'm going to take this current node and get its value dot val and add it into the current level list. Now before going into the next iteration. I'm going to check if this current node has any left child or right child. If left child is not equal to empty, add that left child into the queue. Current node dot left is not equal to null. Then into this queue, add the current node dot left child. And now let's do the same for the right child. So current node dot right is not equal to null. Then into the queue, I'm going to add the current node dot right child. And before going into the next level. We need to add the current level nodes into the result. So result dot add of current level. Now this will happen for all the levels, like we discussed. And finally, I'm going to return the result. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are being accepted. Let's submit the code, and the solution is accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is big of n because we are revisiting each node exactly once, and the space complexity is also big of n because we are using a queue to compute the output. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.